welcome back. This is Dalen75 Games, and you are watching The Walking Dead Episode 4. So the radio is working the vehicles. daughter with What the hell is wrong with that guy? Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Hmm. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Sucks to lose the guy. He's awesome. Yeah, that's part of the group. At least he's gonna survive for another year, year and a half, two years maybe. Which is pretty rare among people these days. I don't know if any of us, including the main guy and Clementine, are gonna survive this. But it's, I'll bet you at the end of the uh, final chapter of season one of this game, it's probably gonna come down to a real big choice. And uh, I just have a feeling it's gonna be. Either somebody or Clementine, or even me and or Clementine. It's gonna be rough. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kimmy. You got it. Can't talk to her. I wonder why they give me this weird screen. So they want me to come over this way. How are you doing, Carmen? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked him, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Day. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. She has a gun, she knows how to use it. That, that's my number one reason for it. Is that a super dinosaur on his shoulder? It's all like <laughs> pow, pow, pow. I thought a super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. 
Oh, sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine. Jeez. Duck is slow. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, so will everyone else. I know who you are, and I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Helicopter. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. I don't know, I'm a bad you know, feeling. Guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> there we go. Power wouldn't last forever. Next time. I we thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh. Howdy. I'm Andrew survivors. St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the Reds. quite the commercial for chapter two but I know that they originally sold this game per chapter oh look at this honesty lied to Herschel you and 63% of players were honest who would you save duck or Sean you and 49% of players chose duck so I'm right split in the middle if anybody wants to criticize that decision <laughs> Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 48% of players defended Kenny. Who wouldn't defend Kenny? Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 45%. I can't believe so many people didn't. Maybe they thought that it was... Because uh, I was kind of afraid that she would walk away with the gun and it would be hers and she'd kill herself when she felt it was time and then we wouldn't have the gun. But uh, I, I made the choice thinking she would shoot herself on the spot and I made the right choice. She did. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? 
you and 76% of players chose Carly. And I was thinking that how, who would have saved Doug? He doesn't have a gun. And he's also, unfortunately, he's also a guy. <laughs> Coming from a guy's perspective. They're more, guys are much more protective of women, truth be told. Click to continue. All right, here's the credits for the first chapter. Going into chapter two. I know who you are. I got a oh, new one for you. You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Give a shit about what happens to you. Can't but if anything him. happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. First chance I get, Larry is gone, and it's. If his daughter has to go too, so be it. It's not his daughter, it's him. Three months later. We survived with that old guy for three months. Hard to believe. And who Damn. is that? What'd they get this time? <sighs> Looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. The rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. 
I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting it down. Don't worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. And, you know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Knock me flat. Shot. I need to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Son of a... Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! So that guy's name is Mark, and he's a new addition to the group, I suppose. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. This is fucked up. You gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see <laughs> if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Yeah, I see how this is gonna go. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release left. Oh no. Shit, walkers! Don't now shoot. Down, Lee. Please. Don't shoot. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh God! Please Just save out, him! Please! 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 Oh, so much blood. Try something. Okay. Well, if this doesn't work. Damn it, Lee, just cut off There's a branch leg. there. Oh, please, oh, there's a branch. There's gotta be another way. Oh, man. Oh, please. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah! Ah! Son God of a damn bitch. it. Lee, I can't keep him back. Come forever. on, do something. I want my leg. I want my leg. Is he. Is he gonna make it? I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta Jesus. go. I, I need to so walk. Many of them. You have to get him out. You have to. 
No, this is useless. Please hurry! Please, please, please! I don't want to do it, man, but. Try the trap again! Anything, please! Come on! Okay, I will try one more time. Come on! We gotta go! Now! Shit. No! <laughs> no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! Uh, I'm sorry. No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it to me! Damn it, let's Travis! Travis! <laughs> Shit! What happened? He went for the gun! Oh, God. Grab the kid and keep moving! You still have time to cut his leg off. Please get me out. Gotta stick with the choices you make, or aren't able to make. that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished them off. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. Guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. 
Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? No wonder he has a heart problem. He's always angry. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. Keep doing it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. consolation I have is that there's five chapters so obviously some of us are going to be able to get some more food so an apple two crackers and what chips I don't know what that first thing is anyways is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. I def well, I definitely like her. Family. Thanks for the help. I like her and Go Kenny. ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Well, the only person I have a problem with is Larry. Lily's father. You know what? Let's try talking to her. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The argue. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Well, Clementine is definitely going to get food. I suppose Duck should get something. As for the other two pieces, I don't have a clue who I'd give it to. I don't think the new, the two new guys should get any. Maybe. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. 
I sure hope so. <laughs> that thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. But you said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I was hoping she'd say that. I will. That she'd realize it. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. I'm the kind of person that's very honest, even about my faults and history, if brought up. They don't have to go advertising my whole history as myself, but as this character here, I guess I'm kind of playing up how I would play it in real life. I mean, I've never killed anyone, I've never hurt anyone before, but uh, if I was in his shoes and what happened, what happened, I wouldn't be going around and telling everyone. But if they asked, I wouldn't lie about it. Hey, Clem, you need something to eat. give her this. Little kids like this. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we not get some food? I was trying to say in the last video that the voice of Duck is, is has to be the voice of the little boy in Skyrim. How you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. As for the other two pieces, oh man, there's Katja, there's Kenny, her husband, there's her, there's her, there's that new guy, Mark, and then, uh, and then considering her father, the father, Larry. I don't know who to give it to. Maybe she should have it. And maybe, maybe these two women. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. I know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. No. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. <laughs> Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it.
Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Well, that's how I feel. I don't know what's going on around here. There's no food you're supposed to do. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty. I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh my There's God. none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. <laughs> wow. Doesn't even say anything about giving the food to his own daughter. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident. I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Sorry, there, was, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just give me next time. Sure. This is fair. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. 
I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Now I need the axe. What am I supposed to do? I guess that's the end. What was I supposed to do? It didn't show me that I could do anything. Okay. One thing I can think of. Oh. Nice job. He was bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's going to happen to all of us. Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. It's hard decision. Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. <laughs> that sounds it's nice too good to get away to from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for it? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. 
Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking at the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Huh. Uh... Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. That guy reminds well, me of the governor. We'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. The hell? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Me. And you guys will keep it there's up. There's only two of them. Oh, sure. Yeah, and you know what? More. We ain't at all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa. Shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him. Fuck you! He's a psychopath. Asshole. Shoot him. I would have shot him. And take their guns. Here is going to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Take his crossbow. Oh man. <laughs> you take what you can in this world. If there's a group like that around, we are in for a lot of trouble. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Maybe they were legitimate. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here That's now. What I meant. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? 
But she... We have a vet, and we can bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. <laughs> well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Oh, wow. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take that along there? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. It's not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right, guys, gonna call the video here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.